Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. On our last lecture, we discussed on the basic important aspects in the NSA workbook. In other words, I want to make a further explanation on the realities, relative and absolute cell references in formula. We stop on the on referencing each and every data on this column here. You can see each and every data. If you double click on it, it's telling you that it's each and every data is referencing to one another. So now let me total everything. So just click, just highlight and click on auto sum so it will definitely give you the total sum let me make a bold okay and let me call this please total so, so let me total this let me make the reference in this as well this column as well equal to just first four put your equal to any time you want to make a sum or any formula put equal to then click on it press plus click plus click plus I'm making a referencing on each rows now no enter so if I double click on it you can see that it's telling me that I reference all the numeric data in on January, February, March and April. Okay. I can as well drag it down because it's already the reference already so I can as well drag it down and get my all the figures there. Let me, let me make it bold. Alright. Um what I want to show you now is how to make an absolute reference now if you can see that so we have reference each and every item on the uh, cell you can see C, C C here is C C3 D3, E3, F3, and then so that is referencing. Now we want to work on the absolute reference. Now let me call the percentage. Percentage. All right. Let me let us work on percentage. How to, how do we give percentage to to the uh, percentage in, in relation in, in relative to the total. If I want to get a percentage in relation to the total here, the first thing I'm going to do is so press equal to then G3. You can see the way I'm referencing it divide by the total. You can see then press enter. So invariably, this is telling me that I'm having a personal record is having 14% of the total record. Now I'll be able to reference the total value here in relation to the the in really uh, the personal record here in relation to the total value. Here. In in other words, if I drag it down. I see that it doesn't give me the the relative because as I have a relative this particular row and by dragging in that this this supposed to give me the the, the percentage of each and every description there but it feel it doesn't so what am I going to do here let's click on each but to see what actually wrong we can see that we 
have g4 right this is g4 divided by g11 no 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 this is very wrong you can see this on the second one we have g5 g5 divided by g12 that is very wrong so the, this net in this case this is what is called an absolute reference so in order to make these references equate to this our g10 what we are going to do is let me clear this office is that you click on this cell h3 go down to the go down to the formula bar here so what we are going to do is you are going to have had a dollar sign here in order to make this my round to I want to make this g10 to be absolute in reference to the word the percentage now so let me have the dollar sign there if you have the solar dollar sign that is g dollar g then come down to this place in front of g also say put another dollar there then press equal to now you can see it's still giving me the same 14 percent in relation to the total number now i have been able to relative this record this record in, in relation to the total so by dragging it down so there is nothing there is no the absolute absolute references can only make use of only one cell only one single cell so we cannot drag the the said the way we use in the when we drag the total value instead of making the uh, typing the the same uh, make uh, developing the formula and all that so you cannot do that when you are referencing a percentage so now i'll be able to reference this this percentage in relation to what total value so if i drag it down now you can see just be able to give me the actual percentage i need and if i want to make it further to get my to give me the accurate percentage just click on percentage you see so that is how to make a relative and absolute references in an essay book thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye